Hello everyone and welcome to my Flit makeup look tutorial. Um, I really love Flit. He's so sassy and awesome and Pocahontas is one of my favorite Disney movies. So basically I just copied the colors um, that he has and I did a white winged liner with a teal green winged liner as well and the pinky peach here for his uh, ruby throat color and the gold underneath just because you know Pocahontas just rings gold to me, like goldy bronze. And I actually did some gold in the eyebrows as well, just to add a little something extra. My camera's gonna die, so I'm talking really fast right now. Um, but if you haven't watched my previous video, uh, go ahead and do that, because that's how I did my foundation for this video. It's my airbrush tutorial, or airbrush demo review tutorial thing. So, um, yeah, I actually really like how this turned out. I had no clue where I was going in the beginning of this um, video, so uh, yeah. Let's get on with it. So I'm starting off with Urban Decay Primer Potion and MAC Painterly Paint Pot on my eyes as per usual. And then I'm going in with 407 from Inglot, this um, uh, peachy with a gold sheen to it. And that's going to go on the outer half of my eyes. And I really have no idea what direction this is going to go in, um, so bear with me. And this is just a fluffy um, all over shadow brush from Real Techniques. Actually, let's blend that all the way into the inner corner, but just lightly on the inner corner. So I think I'm going to do a colored um, winged liner for this look since he's so, you know, playful and full of life and whatnot. So for my crease, I'm going to keep it simple. Just go with 360 from Inglot. It's this medium toned brown, which I use for my crease almost always. And since I don't want my crease to be too, too diffused, I'm going to take a... Um, pencil type brush from Crown Brush and just lightly put that in my crease. Actually I kind of want a little bit more than that so I'm going to take the fluffy um, base brush with the same color and just diffuse it a little bit more. Right, so I'm not connecting it too, too much to my lash line here. So I'm going to take my 210 from MAC, the liner brush, and my next Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. And load up my brush with that. I'm going to try to do a very thick white winged liner. Not too sure how this is going to go over, so bear with me. Sorry about that, I just had to change the ISO because it was getting a bit dark for my liking. And if you want to know how to do wing liner shapes, I have an, an everyday wing liner tutorial up somewhere in my channel. So I think that's as about as thick as I'm going to want it. Um, I'm going to do also green on the inside of this. so. That's why you want it so thick so you can have room to put that green while still showing a white border around it. And this would be easier if I had like a white fluid line or something or chroma line. Um, because Jumbo Eyeshadow pencils are quite sticky so they can tend to like pull and drag a little bit. And I'm just smoothing out the edges of this right now. So I'm going to do the other eye and get right back to you. So now that that's done, I'm going to set it with Too Faced Primer and Poreless Loose Powder since I don't have a white matte um, eyeshadow. And I'm going to take this on just a very small, tiny paddle brush. And I'm just going to pat this on top of the white liner. This eyeliner is very sticky, so you're going to need a quite a thick layer. If you have a white chromaline or, um, yeah, chromaline or just white eyeliner in general, feel free to use that instead because it probably will work better. So I can't seem to find the brush that I wanted to use to the um, teal slash green part of the liner. I wanted to use my angled liner brush, but it is gone, so that means I'm going to have to figure out something else for my eyebrows as well. So I'm just going to use another um, liner brush. I'm going to use... Number 372 from Inglot, it's this teal here. 
It's actually almost the perfect color for uh, flit. And, hmm. Dang, I really wanted that uh, angled liner brush. It would have been so much more precise than this. But I'm just going to use this to do another line. But it's going to be sort of inside this white, existing white art here, already here. Um, so you're going to still have a white border. And again, if you had a teal uh, chromaline or eyeliner, this would work for that too. <laughs> I just had the brilliant idea to mix in the, um, oh, sorry to blind you there, um, the Inglot shadow with the NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencil. So I made kind of like a cream liner um, that it's a little bit lighter than I wanted, but I feel, figure that I can just set it with the um, eyeshadow afterwards just so I can get the more precise shape that I wanted since I can't find my angled liner brush. And like most professional makeup artists, of course I use my mirror as my uh, palette. Don't question it. And I find that it's a lot easier to do this line than it was to do the um, white one just because you already have a shape to follow. So you're really just following, I don't know, a millimeter or two underneath um, where that white top line already is. Okay, so now that that cream liner is down, I'm just going to um, set it with the dry eyeshadow. That'll make getting this right shape a lot easier as well as making it a crisp line as opposed to a diffused one like it would be if I just used the dry shadow. And if you're using a, um, a frosty shadow for this, like you could, totally could use a frosty green, which actually would look really nice. You could use it wet, like if you just added water or um, some sort of uh, liner base. And of course I'm getting tons of fallout all over my face. And again, I'm really missing my angled liner brush right now. So now your green liner is done, and you saw that nice crisp uh, white line on top. If I were to do this again, I probably wouldn't set the uh, white white before I went in with the green. Um, and then I would go over the white again after I have the green, just so that, that that green has a nice crisp top line as well, not just the white. You learn from your mistakes. Um, anyways, so since I can't find my angled liner brush, I went and got some of my paint brushes, um, just some push liner brushes basically. And just to make my eyelash line look a little tiny bit thicker, I'm going to go in with the black on a push liner brush. Just very, very subtly, very, very close to your lashes. And again, they're called push liner brushes because you're literally just pushing the product into your lash line. And I'm not even going to go all the way across, I'm just going about halfway. So now you have your liners both done. Um, I actually did end up going over with the white with the Jumbo eyeshadow pencil in milk. Um, so yeah, you've got white, then green, then a teensy tiny bit of black near your lashes just to make them look a little, little bit thicker. Um, and then since Flit has that nice pink um, throat, the ruby, what are they called, ruby throated hummingbirds or something like that. I don't have as fuchsia a pink on hand as his throat, but um, I've got this coral pink peachy thing as well as this more brighter red. I'm going to mix the two together and that's just going to go, hmm. Um, the trouble with pinks and reds is that it can kind of make your eyes look tired if it's too, um, uh, if it looks too blended out and everything. So I'm going to try and do quite a strong line of it underneath the outer half of my eye and we'll see how that goes. And since this is, this is a color that needs kind of a lighter base, I'm just going to take a little bit of the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in my milk and put it where I want the, um, the red and pink to go. So this is basically going on the outer, I don't know, quarter of my eye as well as up a little bit 
to join with these other two colors. And these two colors by Inglot are uh, 361 for the corally pink and 366 for the red. And again, mixing the two together and just pressing that into the eyeshadow pencil. And I'm slightly flicking it um, exactly horizontally. I'm not really flicking it up in the same direction as the other two liners. I'm kind of flicking out. And then, since I'm going with this whole Pocahontas theme, it's going to be Urban Decay's Baked, which is this awesome gold. My favorite bronzy gold ever. Same brush, tap it off a little bit, and that's going to cover the rest of my bottom lash line. And again, really missing my angled liner brush because that's what I would use this for. Oh, and also with the with the white eyeliner, I just pointed it down a little bit on either, either corner just to make it a little bit more interesting. And my gold's gonna overlap with that pinky red a little bit as well. This gold also looks amazing when it's applied wet. So I think that's it for the eyes, everything, um, except for mascara, of course. So I'll do that and get right back to you. Okay, so I ended up doing a lot more than just mascara. Um, I did my brows with Inglot number 378, this dark brown here. And I actually added in a little bit of baked to that, just light, light dusting all over the brows. Um, just to add a little something extra. And uh, what else did I do? I did Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Bourbon on my um, waterline and tight line. And I did Midnight Cowgirl for a brow bone highlight. And now it's time for my favorite highlight, Lightyear by MAC. Any rosy um, highlighter with a gold sheen will do. And I want this highlight to be fairly strong, much stronger than I would normally have it. And apparently I did not set my white liner as well as I would have liked right there. That's an easy fix. So I don't think I want too much of a contour going on, um, but I do want a little something. So I'm gonna go in with my fan brush and a teensy, like really teensy tiny bit of 360, which is the light medium brown from Inglot. The tiniest amount. Tap it off really, really well. And just kind of sculpt out this cheekbone area. And I really like using a fan brush for this. Um, I find it's really easy to get it really blended or you can just go in one solid um, stripe, I guess, here if you want a really contoured look, but it's really easy to blend out as well. And I'm also going to do a little bit on my nose, like the, and again, the teensy tiniest bit here, down the sides. And I'm going to be taking Prism Blush um, and putting that somewhere in between the highlight and contour shades. Ooh, losing everything here. Sorry, I'm going really, really fast. I just really don't want my camera to die on me. And honestly, I think that's about that's about it. Um, I would I just have lip balm on right now, which is how I would probably wear this. Or I just put on this Revlon Color Burst Lipstick in Peach Parfait. It's basically the lipstick version of that very first eyeshadow I used, that peachy color with the uh, gold flex in it. My apologies, my lips are really chapped right now and frosty. Uh, lipsticks tend to not look the greatest with chapped lips. But there you have it. That's Flit Makeup done. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys can use this for a night out or a costume party or something. And I will see you in my next video, which hopefully will be up in less than a month. <laughs> but no promises, because you know, it's me. Um, so I will see you in my next video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.